filmmakers have to put themselves in someone else's shoes to develop an intuitive understanding of context and circumstance and then express the world in terms of characters, situations and the tough life choices that they have to make. The principles of filmmaking may or may not make us better human beings, but they certainly help us to locate that which is humane, sensitive and compassionate within us. And so this is what I will be sharing with you in this series of videos, which will appear regularly on my channel on YouTube. These are my adventures in cinema and I hope you enjoy them. Being unsatisfied or dissatisfied, what we call, I guess, Bechani. Um, and it's, I think it's so critical for me at least to be in that state of mind for an idea to come, which is worthy of putting it, putting on screen or staging. Um, it, they, they always seem to come from there. It seems to come from a, a sense that I haven't quite got it. So one has to feel like that, I guess. I have to feel like that in order for me to be productive, in order for me to have ideas. I mean, it's not the best for your neuro neurological health, maybe. Um, but then that's for my shrink to figure out. When I went to Ladakh um, many years ago when I was a child and I had to, the, my first screenplay, I knew that I had to write a screenplay. I was standing in Cannes, Cannes Film Festival when I went there the first time, just as a tourist, I didn't go there to the film or anything. But I went for the festival to see some films and I said, yeah, I have to come back here with a movie next year. And the first impression I had in my head, the first vision that I had in my head was that of Ladakh followed by Rajasthan with Little Terrorist. Now these are places that have had an emotional, nostalgic memory for me. So the other place I guess idea can come from is nostalgia. I mean, I think nostalgia is a beautiful, and for me nostalgia is as much about place as it is about emotion. Um, Kashmir, I, we used to, we went there with my grandparents, used to go there with my parents and then suddenly in 1989 you could not go there anymore because of the, uh, the violence. Um, that separation, that, that cut, you know, um, nostalgia, you know, again, the feeling from inside to want to go back for some reason. Um, and I guess create, uh, filmmaking, films are just for me a way of channelizing that nostalgia in the sense, you know, channelizing that the old the old memories that could not have completion. Um, um, you know, um, and then uh, talk about love stories, teenage love stories. That's the other thing that I love a lot. I mean, I've made two films about teenagers in love. I mean, one is Dazed in Dune, the other one is No Fathers in Kashmir. Um, again, <laughs> this is something I, I think as a teenager, I've always wanted to fall in love. It just didn't happen. You know, but the idea of falling in love was as is was was more glamorous, I suppose, or more, more seductive. Um, yeah, I will do this and I will do that and she will say this and I will say that. And all of that stuff that was playing out, you know, has then formed itself into these two, two movies, right? So there, there's, a, there's a certain nostalgia about, um, you know, missing out on a certain element of, um, um, of childhood. Uh, uh, that again, you know, I, I was pretty badly bullied in the school and things like that. So stuff like that also comes out in your work. Um, it comes out in a sense of justice and injustice. I mean, I always remember that even in school, uh, I used to feel enraged when, you know, we used to be, uh, 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 you know, pushed around by the seniors, etc. I used to be like, what the hell, yeah, why, you know? And um, that sense of outrage and enraging, enragement, if you like, still hasn't gone. So that then segued into work which was more political work like you know when I went to Kashmir and I, and I discovered what I did in Inshallah Kashmir Inshallah football so when we understand about where do ideas come from it comes from the very soul I think the very belly of your existence you know it comes from the heart of of who you are as as a human being and I think the trick with filmmaking or any any drama uh, is to channelize that that sort of that emotion um, and um, and be able to put it onto onto screen and I think a very the final sort of part of that entire process is to be truthful and to be in a way very courageous because when you are putting such raw un sort of uh, blemished no not unblemished unprotected um, yeah raw and unprotected emotions your own uh, into public forum um, which people are going to critique because that's what people do they do critique films um, you are doing two, two things. You're doing one thing right, which is by putting the truth out there. 
uh, the truth I don't mean by the the truth about you know the rights and wrongs of the world, but truth as as per you, your truth, what you have experienced in your personal life. But the other thing that you are doing is that you're exposing yourself, your personal personality, you're exposing your your emotions to to the world, you know, and you better be ready to take that. Um, and you have to do it, you know. I don't believe there's any halfway house here. You have to go down that journey. You have to do that because if there's anything worth putting on the screen, it is. Uh, you know the truth.